Today I am sharing with y'all sort of the ultimate kids gift guide. So I didn't wanna break this up into a whole bunch of different videos and do different uh, age groups a ton. I just wanna share with y'all some of my favorite things uh, that my kids have and play with and a couple things that we purchased for them for Christmas and really just sharing with y'all the best of the best only you know our favorite favorite things that I think are worth the money that would make great gifts that our kids enjoy. We do not have a giant playroom filled with tons of toys, so we do have to be a little bit discerning when choosing toys for our kids. And we have just found over the years uh, with eight kids that as we watch each of them learn and play and grow, we've just kind of figured out the kind of toys that seem to make the most sense and the kind of toys that seem to last longer you know, the kind of toys that foster their, you know, desire to play together instead of playing alone. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. This stuff is from various stores, various places, um, and it's at various price points as well. So I'll put as much information as I can in the description box for you to help make it easier to navigate. We're gonna go ahead and jump in. I do want to remind you guys, I shared with you before about Rakuten and they are doing the $40 cash back. Then they quit doing it on the 11th, but they've brought it back again. So if you signed up last time but didn't qualify in time to get the $40, it's back to $40 now, um, so now would be a great time, especially if you're gonna be doing any online shopping, definitely go through Rakuten first. I've been using it for years. A few of you guys have messaged me that you started using it years ago when I first shared about it, back when it was Ebates, and that you're so glad that you did because you've made cash back over the years, and so have I. So I've shared about it so many times before, but you get cash back when you shop online. It's great, it's easy, it's simple, um, and you get a check four times a year for that cash back amount. So very simple, they have a $40 sign up bonus right now. That will be in the description box as well. Let's get on to the gifts. Okay, the first things I have to share with you guys are, well, let me start with this first. Um, okay, so I don't have every single thing here, but I'll do my best to insert footage or put pictures up so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I've spoken about these many times when I've talked about gifts for kids, and these are Magnetiles. Now, you do not have to buy the Magnetiles brand. The brand name Magnetiles, those are pretty pricey, but Amazon has, and other stores, I'm sure, have, um, I don't wanna say knockoffs, but less expensive versions of the same things. These are, they're literally just magnetized squares. They have, some of them have like a window shape. Some of them are just open. Some of them are curves like this. Then you get like big triangle pieces, small triangle pieces. You get all kinds of different shapes depending on the packages that you buy. And then they're magnetized on all sides. So you can build all kinds of things with these and um, every age kid can use these. So at this point, we now have like one of these uh, like uh, seagrass baskets full of them, just completely full of different magnetiles. All of our kids from our 10 year olds all the way down to our two year olds play with these. They'll play together, they'll build things. It's really, they're just fantastic and pretty indestructible. The kids can't break them. The dogs can't break them and chew them up. Um, so this is a, definitely a favorite, but I wanted to look for other toys that were sort of that open-ended play, imagination type thing. So this is something that I ordered for my kids this year, and it's the Magnetized Stick Building Set. Uh, so these are similar, they, but they are stick and curve and ball shapes, and, um, and they're magnetized to allow them to build different things. There's 68 pieces in here. Shows, you know, a star, a rocket ship, a butterfly, all different things that they can build with these. So uh, if you have magnetiles and you know your kids like them, you might wanna try these, add those to the mix. And of course, there's other options like Lincoln Logs and different building blocks. My kids like the magnetized ones, the ones that help you out a little bit, make it a little bit easier for you to actually uh, build taller structures and keep them together, you know, one simple bumps a Lincoln log tower and it's going down and then there's tears and ugh, you know all of the problems so the magnetized ones uh, I think make it easier for the little ones to be included the next thing I want to share with you guys are these puzzles these are search and find puzzles I picked up a package of these just on a whim one time at Target for my twins my four-year-old twins and they fell in love with them and so we've actually been like searching down more of these various different scenes so it's obviously a puzzle that you build it's a 64 piece puzzle that you build and then you've got the search and find all of these different little critters and 
I just, the kids have so much fun with these. Again, this is mostly used by my twins. Sometimes Benji plays, and then sometimes my other kids, my eight and my two 10-year-olds will um, jump in as well and play and do the search and find. It's I would definitely say it's more for that three to six age range is probably more where this is ideal for just depending on your child but so there's like a little poster in here so you have a reference for what you're searching for in the puzzle so those are some gift ideas that your kids can really kind of play with together um, some of our other favorite things that we have for our kids i think could make a good gift is a disc swing um, so you've probably seen in some of our videos before but we have this big round swing and it's just it's sort of like a tire swing meets a uh, regular swing, but it's got the mesh at the bottom so they can lay down on it. So you can really fit multiple kids on it. Nobody's gonna like slip through the cracks and fall through like a tire swing that you can fall through. You can't do that. Um, so it's just, it's really great. Multiple kids can get on it and play on it at the same time. And it's just really fun when the kids need to burn some energy uh, to go outside and hop on the disc swing and play. And it, again, like, you know, we've been able to like put Benjamin on it as a baby when he was one and, and you know, just kind of have him lay down and you can gently push. So it's really fun. My kids enjoy it a lot. And speaking of Benjamin, we got him a balance bike for his second birthday. And this is by a brand called Chilla Fish. It is so cute first of all it's just an adorable balance bike okay it's just really cute and it's very well priced i feel like sometimes these balance bikes and stuff can get very expensive you just regular bikes even i bought rosie a bike for christmas last year that was a very expensive bike and i kind of regret that being that we live on a farm it's hard for her not to let it get too beat up but this chilla fish bike so great i never really i'll admit never really understood the purpose of balance bikes i was like i don't get it and now i get it i see how um, it's really helped our kids to be able to ride a regular bike much sooner much earlier than i did as a kid um, because it really they learn the balance they understand how you move on a bike and balance um, your seat and stuff like that your hips and it's just it's great so the chilla fish bike comes in multiple colors we got the neon green one for benjamin it's fantastic love it cannot say enough good things about it very durable as far as like electronics type things go um, amazon tablets the fire tablets for kids we've had them for years we actually replaced them this year so we got some new ones as christmas gifts because their old ones have just been so beat up um, and we got the newer model with a bigger screen they were on a major black friday sale on amazon so so we got them for like half the price um, but we love these tablets. I love all the settings, the parental control settings that you can do on them um, to you know, be able to tell what your kids are watching. The, they're very durable. The cases and everything, they are so durable. And um, they also, if anything happens, you've got a certain warranty period where you can send it in and they'll just replace it, send you a new one if something happens and yours breaks. So the tablets are great, uh, like I said, for road trips. If you've got to wait a really long time, perhaps at a doctor's office or a car dealership or something like that, it can just be a nice thing to have to tag along and then I also want to mention so doll houses okay I have avoided the plasticky doll house things because I know that they don't really last and last year I purchased a doll house for Ivy and Amelia for Christmas and it was a beautiful beautiful wooden doll house I will link it below if I can still find that one I know they have I kind of got the medium size one so they have a, a smaller one this medium one and a larger one. And let me just tell you, it's it's held up so beautifully. It's such a beautiful little dollhouse. It just looks adorable in a little girl's room. Um, it's light enough and manageable enough that we carry it downstairs sometimes and move it back up. And uh, if she wants to play with it at the, the kitchen table, uh, sometimes she'll bring all of her little people and critters and stuff down and play with it there. It's a really beautiful dollhouse and one that I feel like I almost just feel like we should just toy test for a living because if my kids, like they can destroy just about anything, I feel like. I love them so much, but they can destroy. So I feel like if a toy can survive this house for a year, then that really says something about it. So this dollhouse is absolutely beautiful and um, very, very well made, holds up well. So if you're in the market for a dollhouse, I just would like to highly recommend the one that we purchased last year. So I will link that down below as well. You know, for our boys, for our 10 year old and eight year old boys, one of their favorite things to play with are real walkie talkies. So we have tried buying the kitschy plastic 
um, even not just plastic, but like the kid versions of walkie talkies before. And that just, they again, get destroyed all of that so they are again very durable they have a good range especially here on 10 acres the boys want to be able to use them all over the property so some good reliable actually functioning regular adult walkie-talkies the only thing that I would advise you is that your children need to understand that with those uh, CBs and the signals and stuff they're picking up they can't talk to strangers they can't talk to people if your kids understand all that then you'll be fine. And of course, again, for that age range of boy, you can't go wrong with Legos. My boys love Legos. Again, we have just tried to really whittle our toys down to a lot of open-ended play things, things that they can build and do and play together and not so much um, very specific things. Uh, even, you know, we've tried, you know, nerf things and they like those, but the arrows get chewed up by our dogs. So, or the, you know, I'm talking about the little nerf bullets. We, they used to have a, a bow and arrow. So my boys are super into these things called Beyblades and you have like this little circle thing. It's got a little circle thing and a ripper and you pull it and it spins. It's kind of like a spinning top type thing. And then you put them in this little plastic looks like a hamster wheel and they spin. I don't understand it. They just, they love them. So Beyblades, if you have a boy who doesn't know what those are, but he's in that age range and you're looking for something different, maybe try some Beyblades, see what he thinks. My boys are obsessed with them and they lose and move on from things like that very quickly. And they've been into these Beyblades for six to eight months and it hasn't stopped. So Beyblades. The other thing that's really fun, again, for various ages, is this LCD drawing pad. Um, I purchased two of these from Amazon. They had a 50% off coupon, so I believe they were about $9, a little under $10. And um, they're just these little LCD screen drawing pads. They're really fun, and again, it's nice to uh, take this along with you in the car or to appointments. Uh, there's no, obviously, noise coming out of them like a tablet, and there's no paper or crayons or anything like that. It's just this cool little LCD screen drawing pad with the pin attached to it so you can't lose it. Either way, it's a great little drawing pad. Either way, it's another toy that I think kind of has a wide range of ages as far as kids who would enjoy using it. As far as games go, I will mention, and I'm not sure if it'll still be happening when this video goes up, but Walmart has had a bunch of their classic games on sale for $5, both in-store and online. Um, they sell out really fast online, but if you go into your store, I picked up a few um, board games for my kids uh, for five bucks, like Sorry and Clue. I think they have some various versions of Monopoly and different things. Either way, I'll put a link to the $5 games at Walmart, but if you don't see what you want online, you can also check in person because they, my local Walmart had way more than was available online at the time. Something fun that we've done sort of for like our pre-teen age girls at the time were the Instax cameras. They're just really fun. There's just something really fun about getting that immediate printout, that Polaroid, um, and getting like a little photo album they can put together. And um, ours kids mostly took pictures of their pets, but y'all, you know, they can do what they want with it. But I just think that they're really fun and they come in a lot of fun colors. You can get all kinds of um, prints for the Polaroids. So they have patterns on them and stickers to make little scrapbooks and stuff. So very fun um, for any, you know, either a boy or a girl um, and, and various ages. Just obviously they got to be old enough to understand the value of the film because the film you don't want them to waste it. If they're just gonna run around taking a bunch of pictures and waste the film, you will regret that purchase. So they at least have to be at an age where they can understand not to waste the film. So I don't know, to me that's probably like 10 plus years old, but. You know, and as you move up in age towards the teens, um, we've done like wireless headphones, uh, doing various types of speakers, like the uh, Bluetooth speakers can be really fun. We also tend to lean towards uh, experience type gifts if we can, or memberships or things like that that they would want and be able to use over and over again. One of the things I'm doing this year is making, using my Cricut uh, to make all of my kids their own personalized 
um, it's like thermos cups, you know, so I'm trying to find like the right cups for them that are plain, uh, don't have a bunch of designs on them necessarily, and then I'm going to, you know, put their names on them with my Cricut so they all have like their individualized cups since we take those cups outside all the time. And then of course we like to do some kind of family gift every year. We like to pick something that can be enjoyed by the whole family. So last year we did a telescope. We've got like a sun porch on our second floor and and uh, we got a telescope that we can take out there and look at the stars. It actually works really well. We got it from Amazon and I've been pretty impressed with it. So we did that as a family gift. And then we also last year did one of the, I don't wanna call it life size, but the large size checkers board. So the pieces all snapped together, the black and white pieces. And then you've got these chess pieces that are, or I'm sorry, checkers pieces that are about this big and then they do have the big chess pieces now i did not make an investment in the chess pieces last year because i said those are crazy expensive let me see if my family uses this enough to justify buying the chess pieces too and there's various versions of this but it's fun to set it up in the yard when you've got friends over family over um, and have kind of this big life-size chess board uh, my dad hates the name this name for it cornhole uh, the, he's like it's not cornhole it's beanbag toss he can't stand it when people call it cornhole and he refuses to call it cornhole but the beanbag toss cornhole boards which you can get all kinds of custom ones and different ones i got my husband oregon ducks football ones one year um, and so you have the big board and then the bean bags you toss in there's so many different versions of this and it's really fun again for all ages um, but bean bag toss cornhole whatever you call it i just like to look for things that we can all do together things we can enjoy together and things that are you know sort of like get us outside instead of my kids being tempted to sit inside i try to avoid buying a whole lot of things that encourage them to like turtle up into their shell and stay inside. Those are just a few of my recommendations. Um, anything else that I think of that I forgot for this video, I will link down below and I will do my best to, like I said, separate the categories so it makes it a little bit easier for you. Uh, but definitely check the description box because I'll probably add a few more things down there that I did not remember for this video. But hopefully this is helpful to you if you are still trying to find Christmas gifts for your kids. Uh, like I said, we kind of try to do, we try to keep Christmas a little smaller and not go crazy. We've got eight kids. We can't be buying a whole bunch of stuff. So we like our kids to just get a few things that they can really love and enjoy um, and not make it about the amount of things and the stuff and the cost and the price of everything, but just about having a few things that each child uh, would really enjoy and like to have. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.